Welcome to one of the most intense, thrilling experiences that the current year has to offer. It's your last day as a worker. You're no longer going to work for feeding pets as a pet feeder worker. You're going to feed your pet a meal of food for the final time, and you won't believe what happens. Entering this building, I see that it is completely disgusting. We have boxes thrown about and a banana on the floor. My coworker tells me to clean it all up for her as she plays on the computer. I pick up the spray bottle and I clean the walls. I use a rag that looks rather fishy. I enter the side room to grab a garbage bag. I find that the light switch is rather fun to play with. There's not much else to interact with. I grab the garbage bag. I also seem to find an iguana in which I am unable to pet. I am disappointed. I find a note. It's asking if I am excited about my last day and how they would be because they're never going to have a last day. They stopped by and made sure to tell us that it is dirty and to clean it. It looks like they have done nothing else. They say good luck. Now that I have my garbage bag, I decide that it is time to pick up the banana, the boxes, and the pizza before making my way outside to the garbage bin. The garbage bin is before us and I realize it is time to litter. We do so. My partner tells me that she's going to grab our shy friend and that we are going to make our way into the next room. I assume that she means the iguana, but instead she brings a body. My coworker is rather silly. Making our way into the next room, I see that there is a rickety couch for some reason floating. My partner gets on it with a body. I don't know how they're staying on it so easily. I find another note from our good friend Mark. He reminds us that we need to turn off the power and that we should use the couch to get to the other side. I am unsure why we did not bring a raft, but I guess a couch works just as well. As our partner has pointed out, I need to grab a chemical from the other room. I shall do so now. In this room I find a gun. I don't know why someone would leave a gun here. Oh, a note. It must be from Mark. He tells us that he left a gun just in case things go bad. And that it is a parting gift. One that I've always wanted. Thank you. My partner has somehow fastened a light. I don't know where she got it. To a broom. It stays very firmly on top of the couch. We decide to surf to the other side. This feels like it takes 30 minutes. As we get to the other side, my partner makes a joke saying to season the steak, chef. Once again showing that she is very silly. I decide to pour the chemical on the body. It appears that the seasoning I chose for the human was not what my partner wanted. She quickly resorts to calling me a mute moron. This has hurt my feelings very deeply. She tells me to turn the power off and that we're going to leave, saying that she hopes that they forgive us at the shop. We make our way back to the other side on our makeshift couch. I am still hurt by the words in which she has used. She speaks again, 
Before she is able to finish her sentence, I shoot her. I feel like this is only fair. This has been Aerogatic, and until next time.